Welcome. You are already familiar with the general concept of a function. A function can be seen as a machine that transforms an in input x to an output y. For example, the function square takes the input 3 to the output 3 squared, so to 9. Recall that the set of possible inputs is called the domain of the function and that the outputs are elements of the codomain. In the example square, both the domain and the codomain are equal to the set of real numbers. In principle, the domain and the codomain can be any set you can think of. For instance, in the next example, both the inputs and the outputs are vectors. The following function f maps the vector xy to the vector x squared plus y squared, x minus y, x squared. So the domain is R2 and the codomain is R3. In the context of systems of linear equations, we consider the important questions, are there solutions to the system? And if the answer is yes, how many solutions are there? In particular, is the solution unique? We can ask these same questions for an equation of the form f of vector x equals vector b. For example, for the given function f, we can consider whether there are solutions to the equation f of x on y equals minus 1, 3, 2. You can quickly see that there are no solutions. The first coordinate of the outcome equals x squared plus y squared, which is never negative, so never equal to minus 1. On the other hand, for the equation f of x on y equals 0, 0, 0, you can check that there is a unique solution, namely the vector 0, 0. And lastly, for the vector 2, 0, 1 in the codomain, there are two corresponding inputs, namely 1, 1 and minus 1, minus 1. Both f of 1, 1 and f of minus 1, minus 1 are equal to 2, 0, 1. Now for some definitions, which you may have seen before. The range of a function is the set of all possible outcomes. The range is obviously a subset of the codomain. And as we've just seen, it doesn't have to be the entire codomain. The vector minus 1, 3, 2 was not in the range of f. If the range of f covers the whole codomain, we say that the function is onto or surjective. Thus, a function f is onto if the equation f of x equals b has a solution or rather at least one solution for all possible elements b in the codomain. The slide shows a typical onto function. For each b sub i in the codomain, capital B, there is at least one arrow pointing to it. The vector function f in the last example is not onto because there is no solution to f of x and y equals minus 1, 3, 2. If there is a solution, the next question is whether it is unique. If the solution to f of x equals b is indeed unique for all elements b in the range, then we say that f is 1 to 1, or injective. Another way to say the same, for each b in the codomain, there is at least there is at most one a in the domain for which f of a equals b. The slide shows a typical one-to-one -one function. For each b sub i in the codomain, capital B, there is at most one arrow. And the function on this slide is not one-to-one. -one. The two elements a2 and a3 are mapped to the same point b1. For the vector function we considered, we've seen that two vectors are mapped to the vector 2, 0, 1. So this function is also not one-to-one. -one. The very basic and at the same time general notions of being onto or one-to-one -one often make students raise their eyebrows. What's going on here? Some think that a function has always either one or the other of these properties. Well, Scroll back to the previous example 
and you will see that this is certainly not the case. The vector function f there is neither on 2 nor 1 to 1. And there are also functions that are both on 2 and 1 to 1. Here's an example. Here. For any point b in the codomain, there is exactly one arrow pointing to it, and exactly, exactly one means at most one and at least one, so the function is both 1 to 1 and on 2. As a sneak preview to the next class, in the following example, which is also the last example, I will look at the matrix transformation corresponding to the 2 by 3 matrix on the slide. Note that this matrix transformation, T, is a function from R3 to R2. Is T an on 2 function? Well, if you multiply the matrix with a vector B1, 0, B2, you get the arbitrary vector b1, b2. So yes, the equation t of x equals b has a solution for every vector b. This shows that t is onto. Now about the other property. Is t 1 to 1? That is, has the equation t of x equals b always at most one solution? The specific choice on the slide shows that for the vector b equals 1, 1, the equation t of x equals b has at least two solutions. Conclusion, t is not 1 to 1. In class, you will learn how to establish for an arbitrary matrix whether the matrix transformation it represents is on 2 and or 1 to 1. Goodbye for now.